anything. Welcome to Ask Me Anything. Let's start with question number one. This is a great question. So I'm going to start with the easiest one, which is the song I hate the most. You've heard stories where artists blew up off of a song and they absolutely detest and hate the song. It's not just the, uh, what's the word? It's just not, it's not a, not a rumor. Uh, I can't think of the word right now. It's, oh Lord, <laughs> words are not coming into my head right now. It's just not a, ha, uh, what's the word? Hypothet it's not hypothetical. Damn it, I can't think. Anyway, the answer is Why Must I Cry is the most hated song that I made. I absolutely detest the song. And it's not because of the singing or the awkward music video. It has nothing to do with it. It's not. That's not the reason. Certain songs... I've said this before, songs that I make are like a, like a journal. And so therefore, that particular journal of my life, I was in a lot of pain and I just hate the song. It was just me pretty much doing another journal entry into my life. So I'm glad that you asked the question. Maybe you enjoy that song, maybe you don't. Maybe you make fun of it, maybe you don't. But for me, it was real life. Everything happened there was true. Which is why I'm not really answering any Why Must I Cry questions on here. Because I've the song is old. Look, it's been out since 2006. I'm still getting questions. Which is a testament to the staying power of the song. It's still, still the top of all my songs that's being uh, streamed or sold or whatever. And so... Yeah, that's the song that I hate the most. The other question is more difficult to answer because I can't narrow it down to just one song because I love many, many of my songs. But recently, I did a song and it's not out yet and it's called EAS. I can tell when I really like a song that I did because I will listen to it over and over and over and I can feel what I was feeling at that time so which is great you want your listeners to feel what it is you you're portraying through the song and I f definitely feel the energy of what I was trying to portray through that song because I feel it it's really really something and that's not coming out unfortunately until 2023 and I'm definitely leaning towards doing a music video to that song because the song now the difference between that and why must I cry why must I cry is a sad situation EAS is also a very sad situation but why do I love this song more than the other one well if you listen to the lyrics of EAS, basically, not to give the song away, but it's basically about a man who, he uh, his emotions are so overpowering that he does not know how to transition away from those feelings when when the feelings are not being uh, not being reciprocated by another party so that's pretty much what the song is about I love the song a lot so I know it's not fair to narrow it down to a song that's not even released but you asked the question and that is my answer thank you for the question let's move on to the next question please
This is another good question. It really can go either way. And these, speaking from my own personal situation, it can go either way because I've had great success when I went out there and chose a friend of my own that I wanted to be my friend. But then again, I've also had horrible luck when I went out there and chose someone that wanted to be my friend because it, the relationship just turned out to be horrible and stressful. And then the same thing with when someone chose me as their friend. Although, if I'm lo looking back on it in hindsight, when someone chose me as a friend, it generally is doomed, for lack of a better word, from the beginning, rather than when I choose someone to be my friend and or mutual mutual friendship is the best that I think. It, you didn't ask about mutual friendship, but that, I have the, the best luck with mutual friendship. When we both decide to be friends, that's the, that's when I do the best with the friendship. So, hope I answered your question. Thanks for the question. Uh, let's move on. Oh boy, relationship questions. Wow, I, well, you're asking someone relationship questions who has not had good luck with relationships, so I will try to answer in the best way that I can. It's not just a yes or no answer here because there's many, many variables in this, in this because how long have you been friends and how close of friends are you? Like, are you close friends? Are you best friends? You, you do a lot of stuff together because that will make the choice very uh, awkward. Let's say, I don't know, this is a, a best friend of yours. You guys go out to the, you go clubbing a lot. You go to the gym, you work out together. You're in the gym and you did the gym shower so you see you've seen each other naked. It's gonna be very awkward for your friend if you tell them that, hey man, I'm attracted to you and I like you, I want to take it into an intimate relationship. That is a sure recipe for disaster. You're not living in a fantasy world where you 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 tell a straight person that, and they'd be like, "Oh, Bobby! Oh my gosh! I felt the same way. Our kisses just much, much, much. Let's go down to the justice of peace and get married and have a kid." No, it doesn't work like that. No, no, no. This is real life. If you, I don't know why you would want to do that. Why? Would you want to re? You know, you would. You're gonna ruin the relationship. The friendship is. It's done. Basically, if you do that, the friendship is completely done, because they're gonna feel completely betrayed that this guy liked me sexually, and know that he did, and seen me naked all this time when we've been working out, and he's been probably lusting or fantasizing about me. I cannot be around this person anymore. Is that's just what's going to happen? It, it was going to be super rare that you find someone who's going to, because for if they're straight, they're not going to all of a sudden. You know, like you, you sometimes hear about, oh, I could could turn this guy. You know, some maybe some gay community they'll say stuff like that. Oh, I could turn this guy, or whatever. I don't even know the terminology, that, but anyway. You cannot expect this person to seriously just change, switch teams because you told them how much you love them. You, it's going to be seen as a betrayal and you can't blame them. I mean, how can you knowingly work out with this person and not tell them 
that you're getting aroused by seeing them naked and you're fantasizing and masturbating, you cannot do that. It's not right. It's moral. It's wrong. You cannot do that. So, if you are prepared to lose the friendship, then tell them the way you feel. But if you are not prepared to lose the friendship, I still think it's wrong. You still have to tell them. It'll be selfish of you. But if you absolutely don't want to lose the friendship, don't tell them. But if the feelings are that intense and strong that you love them intimately, it's going to come out. Because people can read you. You can tell when someone likes you in a way that that uh, that's intimate. Love is different. You know, there's different forms of love. If you are going to start showing signs of loving this person intimately, intimately, they're going to know anyway. So the best thing for you to do is to let them know and come to the realization that they're going to walk away from the friendship and you will not see or hear from this person again. You just won't. Case in point, I had, this is a story I've never told, exclusive, exclusive. It was in the early 90s. I remember, it doesn't matter where I was working or who it was. Let's just call him ML. ML was a best friend of mine and for me, when I make a best friend, I do any and everything that I can to help this person out. And so ML was telling me basically that he, I think he was going to be evicted or I can't, it's been too long. He, either he's going to be evicted or he's having trouble paying the rent or whatever the reason was. And so being a friend, owning a condo, a two bedroom condo, I offered him the keys to my home. Now, I, he may have taken this in hindsight as something that it wasn't because he, I remember he came by, like he was like either one or two o'clock in the morning, I don't even know. And we were playing some video games and he tried to lean in, coming towards my lips to kiss me. And I completely like, Whoa, like I was standoffish, like, whoa, bro, what are you doing? It was like totally awkward because he completely left right after that. And uh, to make a long story short, that was the end of the friendship because I did not want that in the friendship. I was his best friend. I was trying to help him out. And then he went around and he told... A, uh, another co-worker that I was hitting on him and I was trying to make moves on him totally made it up and made me look like I was the one doing that told them oh I gave him the keys to my condo and I, I said he could move in and and trying to kiss him and he completely you know mixed them all up so that was really horrible of him to do that. Needless to say, the friendship ended in a physical alter altercation and I got terminated from that job. So, do not, do not, uh, do not hide this from them. If you truly love this person, you have to love them enough to let them go if you're selfish enough to say, oh, I don't want to let them go, I love them too much, it hurts too much. Well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt you more because what's going to happen? You're not going to tell them how you feel about them. And every time you're around them, you're just wanting to be with them in an intimate way. And it's going to just drive you insane. You're going to drive yourself crazy. You're going to be stressed out. You're going to be, it's going to be a bad situation. So just let it go you have to tell them how you feel if you do not tell them how you feel it is very very bad on your part because it's selfish i don't think that anyone 
would want that done. I mean, put yourself in their shoes. You're the straight guy, and they're the bisexual one. And you guys are best friends, and you you hang out, and you even play play stupid. You know how guys are. We play the stupid games with each other. And what wouldn't you want them to tell you that, hey, man, when we play these games and we talk like the way we talk, I mean these things. You know how awkward that would make? You would want to be out of there so fast that their head would spin. So you cannot continue to let this person feel that you're just best friends and nothing else is going on. Because it's going, the longer you prolong this thing, the longer it's going to be a mess. You cannot do that. It's almost like leading someone on. Well, not really. Leading someone on is different, I guess. It's just not right. I don't know how else to put it. I'm just going on and on and on. So the short answer is yes, you should tell them. Regardless of the outcome, but just know that the outcome is them leaving. I could be completely wrong on this, but I'm only speaking from my point of view. You know, and actually, I didn't really leave the situation because you don't stop being someone's best friend because they 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 start showing these feelings I mean if you were a true best friend you don't just stop loving them it's not you don't just turn off love like that it's not possible and so I didn't stop loving him and being his best friend what caused the whole breakup I don't know well not breakup I guess you could call it whatever breakup or a separation of friendship is him I guess basically my rejecting him hurt him so much that he went around and told lies on me so that's what killed the relation the friendship his telling lies on me had he not done that yes I would feel a little bit you know a little bit off-putting that he likes me in this way but I wouldn't have ended the friendship I would have try to make it work I would try to make it work and if he continued to try to make passes on me then I would be like listen we can't keep be, we can't we can't be friends if you're gonna keep trying to make passes at me but if we continue to be friends like we were before and he's not trying to make advance and passes at me then I think that we would have been fine with the friendship it wasn't anything to do with with his being bisexual that ended the friendship it was his his lying and spreading rumors that I don't like people lying on me so that is what killed the friendship it absolutely destroyed the friendship you cannot lie on me and mix things up saying yes I did give you the keys but you didn't tell them the real reason why I did you didn't tell them the part about you saying that you were going to be either homeless I can't remember it's been too long you didn't tell them that what you told them although I tried to give you the keys and I made a pass at you you lied. Okay, I, that was not okay. You can you can call me anything you want, but not a liar and a thief. I don't do those things, and I don't expect people to lie. And s steal and cheat and do all those things to me. So, that's my answer. And if you absolutely, how can I put it? feel like you're gonna go over the edge and do bodily harm to yourself because you're gonna lose this friendship I don't want you to do that I would say of course seek a therapist and seek professional help but if you just don't want to do that either then yes I would agree do not tell them and continue on with the friendship but do not do not try anything like ML did by trying to just come in and you know be intimate with him because he's he's I was a I'm a kind hearted person and he's lucky that I what what if I could I could have gone the other way he could have it could have ended really ugly yeah I mean it did end ugly but it could have ended right then and there 
it could have ended really badly. So that is that. Let's take one more question. Oh, this is another one I can't answer with just a simple yes or no. It it depends. There are different variables. If the person dumped you because you cheated on them, for instance, and they want to come back and give you another chance, then absolutely, yes, take them back. But if they cheated on you, I would not take them back. And I know that's going to be going to be sound hypocritical but how can you how can you take someone back who cheated on you I mean of course there's variables as to why people cheat on you maybe you were neglecting this person you were ignoring this person and they decided that well I guess we're not mononymous anymore so I'm just gonna just sleep around so I would not take someone back who cheated on me. You have to have a huge heart to forgive that. And we should forgive. But that's tough to forgive. It really is. And I've tried that before. And there's always a part of me that's not going to trust anymore completely. I'm not going to trust them because I'm always going to be thinking of it back in the mind. Now, who is she cheating with? Who? I don't know. I don't trust her. I'm going to, you know, and back when I was growing up, there wasn't any Instagram or any cell phones or Snapchat. You couldn't look at the activity on Facebook. There was none of that. And so taking someone back you had to really had a lot of trust in them. Now these days, if someone can say, "Oh, I was this and that," well, of course they can ghost ghost you social on the social media. But yeah, I, it's tough, man. I cannot. I wouldn't advise taking someone back who cheated on you. Like, okay, maybe if they cheated on you once and it wasn't like a full blown. Like it was a one night stand. I could probably forgive that. I wouldn't like it. But if it was an ongoing cheating for months and months and years even, no. I, you're not going to forgive that because that's just, it's un, I hate to use the word unforgivable, but it's pretty close to unforgivable. You've been cheating for years, months, and now you want me to take you back after I found out? No, it's not going to happen like that. No, 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 no. It's just not going to happen like that. You, If you're going to cheat, then be prepared to know that the friend relationship is going to end. And of course, obviously it's more difficult if you're married and there's children, which is another thing. Ladies, if a guy wants to leave, please don't try to trap him by being pregnant because he's just going to be a single mother. If the man does not love you and does not want to be with you and he li his heart is with someone else, he is not going to stay. I don't care if you have triplets. He's not going to stay. And please don't take it out on the baby, especially if it's a boy baby and he looks like the, like the father. You cannot take it out on an innocent child. It's not fair. I've heard horror stories of stuff like that. You don't do stuff like that. It's evil. So, I'm not a therapist and I'm not a relationship therapist. I'm just giving you my opinion on what I feel. Doesn't mean it's right or wrong. It's just my opinion. Oh, that was a lot of questions. A lot of good questions today. Good questions. Keep them coming. Go to ask and ask me anything. I was about to say ask me anything. Go to 
R-E-H-D-O-G-G dot com. You know what? I'm just going to put it in the description or I'm going to put a little up there somewhere. You'll see it. You click on that. Ask me anything. It'll be, it basically, it's, it's R-E-H-D-O-G-G dot com forward slash ask uh, dash me dash anything. I think it's a dash. I don't know. You'll see it there. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Peace out. Ask me anything. anything.